The Union Pacific Railroad's M10,000 delivered the railroad on February 12, 1934, at a cost of $230,997, was the first internal combustion engine lightweight streamlined express passenger train built in the United States. The M10,000 featured a turret cab, an inward slanting duralumin body with a nose formed of parabolic arches, and large nose air intakes on each side of the center line. The prime mover was a 600-horsepower Winton 191AV12 distillate engine. This engine design was unrelated to the later 201 or 201A Winton diesels. There were three cars, a driving, power and baggage car at the front, and two passenger cars. The 204 feet long, 85 short down train was fully articulated, with trucks shared between cars. The front truck carried one general electric traction motor per axle, and was the only one powered. The train was painted in armor yellow with leaf brown roof and undersides. Later, the area around the front air intake was also painted yellow. Dividing lines of red separated the colors. The sleeping car overland trail was constructed for M10,000 and included in the consist during its February to May 1934 publicity tour. But it was never used in regular service with the train. Instead, because of M10,000's assignment as a day train the sleeper was made with the next streamliner M1001 development. The M10,000 car design built upon the efforts of William Bushnell Stout, a pioneer of all-metal construction for airplanes who adapted metal fuselage design to the railplane. A lightweight self-propelled rail car built by Pullman Standard in 1932. The tapered car cross-section, lightweight tubular aluminum space frame construction and duralumin skin of the railplane were carried over into the M10,000 design. Pullman engineer Martin P. Blomberg helped style the exterior of the M10,000 and the M1001. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office assigned U.S. Patent D-100,000, U.S. Patent D-100,001, and U.S. Patent D-100,002 from the design. The car bodies and interior fittings were built by Pullman Standard. The Electromotive Company developed the electric propulsion system driven by the Winton motor, as was the practice as a system engineering firm. They contracted manufacture of the components of the systems to primary equipment manufacturers. Skepticism The development efforts for diesel motors underway in the early 1930s would yield to timely release of a motor adequate for high speed. Rail service led to use of a spark ignition distillate engine. General Motors Cleveland subsidiary, the Winton Engine Company, provided the prime mover, the air brake compressor, main generator, traction motors and control equipment were manufactured by the General Electric Company. Trucks were strongly influenced by German passenger bogey design, as investigated by Union Pacific Chief Engineer A.H. Fetters. Service life. The M10,000 entered daily revenue service between Kansas City, Missouri and Salina, Kansas as the streamliner on January 31, 1935. It was subsequently named City of Salina as Union Pacific adopted the City of Convention for its new streamliners but also was also nicknamed the Tin Worm or Little Zip. In 1941, after 995,000 miles of service. The train's limited fixed capacity and the dated technology of its distillate motor had rendered it obsolete and it was retired. Since it was built of duralumin, the M10,000 was scrapped in early 1942 to contribute its materials to the war effort. 
historical significance, while M10,000 faced early obsolescence leading to its short service life. Its exhibition tour starting in February 1934 followed by its presentation at the 1934 Century of Progress Exposition captured the imagination of Depression-era America as to what the future of rail travel could be. During its 13,000-mile exhibition tour across the U.S., it visited Washington, D.C. for inspection by Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Everywhere it went, the train then named the Streamliner attracted crowds and press attention, hosting over one million visitors. In contemporary memory M10,000 has long since been eclipsed by the pioneer Zephyr, but the M10,000 was the first streamliner on the rails and the first streamliner media sensation. Diesel-powered train sets built for Union Pacific in 1935 and 1936 were evolved from the M10,000 design. The pen scheme devised for the M10,000 became the trademark color scheme for Union Pacific streamliners, incrementally modified to Union Pacific's current scheme with harbor mist gray.